Whispers of Madness, The Mind of a Serial Killer. My name is William. I've always been fascinated by death. As a child, I used to catch spiders and watch them slowly die, reveling in their pain and suffering. As I grew older, my fascination turned into an obsession. I started reading books about serial killers and studying their methods. I wanted to be just like them, to have the power to control life and death. But unlike most serial killers, I didn't have a traumatic childhood or a difficult upbringing. I came from a wealthy family and had everything I could ever want. Yet, I still felt empty inside. Killing became my way of filling that void, of feeling alive. It started with small animals, then moved on to strangers. I would carefully select my victims, studying their routines and habits. I wanted to make sure they were the perfect fit for my twisted desires. I remember the first time I killed someone. It was exhilarating. The rush of power, the feeling of being in control. It was like nothing I had ever experienced before. And I knew I couldn't stop. I needed to keep killing to feel alive. As my body count grew, so did my confidence. I became more daring, leaving clues for the police to find. I wanted them to know that I was out there, watching them, waiting for my next victim. But as much as I enjoyed the killing, there was always a sense of guilt lingering in the back of my mind. I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I couldn't help myself. I was addicted to the fear and the power. One day I came across a new victim. She was young, beautiful, and innocent. I couldn't resist her. I followed her for weeks learning everything about her. I knew her routine better than she did. The night I finally decided to strike, I felt a surge of excitement and fear. I couldn't wait to see the look of terror on her face, to feel her life slip away in my hands. But as I crept into her room, something was different. She was awake, waiting for me. I froze, unsure of what to do. She looked at me with a mix of fear and anger, and I suddenly realized that she wasn't just a victim. She was a predator, just like me. I tried to run, but she was too fast. She tackled me to the ground and I could feel her hands around my neck, choking the life out of me. In that moment, I felt true terror for the first time in my life. As I took my last breath, I realized that I had been wrong all along. Killing didn't make me feel alive. It was the fear of being caught that gave me that rush. And now... I was the one being hunted. I woke up in a dark, cold room. My hands and feet were bound, and I could hear the sound of dripping water. I knew I was in trouble. The predator had become the prey. She came into the room, a knife in her hand. She told me that she had been watching me for a long time, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And when she saw me trying to kill her, she knew it was time to end my reign of terror. As she plunged the knife into my chest, I felt a sense of relief. I had finally been caught, and I could no longer hurt anyone else. As I took my last breath, I couldn't help but wonder if this was my punishment for all the lives I had taken. And now, as I sit in this dark, cold room, waiting for my inevitable death, I can't help but think that maybe, just maybe, this is the justice I deserve. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.